and we're joined by Don Heimer from the John Howard Society. Thanks for talking to us. Mm -hmm. People are moving in here now. You've got 10 in. That's right. We do. We actually have 11 people in, and there's been um, the first van load has come in this morning as well. So our, our goal today is to add another 20 individuals, and then... No, 15 individuals and then 15 tomorrow. Hopefully wrapping it all up Thursday morning if there's anybody that's still straggling that we haven't uh, connected with. So by Thursday, 40 people. That's correct. Yeah, very exciting. Now, would some of the people you're taking in be the very people we see huddled in the cold out there on Recreation Avenue? Um, the people that are coming into this particular program, which is a bridge for housing, have been gone through sort of a vetting process where coordinated access has met with the entire community and they've discussed who is sort of ready next for housing. So there's a variety of individuals coming. So we do have a number of them, most of them are coming from our existing shelters, but we do have a number of them coming from uh, the folks who are on Recreation Avenue. And for those who have come from other shelters. Mm -hmm. This also, I guess, opens up space. Exactly. And that was the whole point so that we can actually start flowing people here who are ready for housing. And and part of the, um, that we're optimistic to share that there's hope so that you know that if you've been in a shelter for a while and you've done your, your assessment and you've, you're ready for housing, that we're taking you to that next step and preparing you even further for housing. So we're hoping that'll create some hope and open up some doors in our, our current shelter system so that we can actually help those folks that are out there in the cold. Do we ever get to a point where we don't need a place like that? I mean, I suppose some people actually want to live in a tent, or how does that all end? You know what? I can't speak for them. They, I do know that people who are living, um, you know, rough often are looking for housing. 90% of them, even higher, I would say probably 95% of the population who is living rough wants a home. Um, their, their intention isn't just to be living uh, and, and drifting. Um, that's not their That's not their point. And they do want to be cared for. They do want supports. They do want a place to be and a place to call their home. So I, I believe that that's sort of the in essence of it. For some individuals that might just be, you know, where they find themselves just, and I think we do need this every year. It gets cold and people, circumstances happen and they get stuck. Yeah. I mean, if someone does take advantage of this shelter, there, there are some rules. Yeah. Yes, there is. I mean, you have to be respectful and kind and we have to mind our neighbours. We have a lovely, quiet neighbourhood here, so I think that's going to be very important that uh, we're treating people with respect and kindness. And um, those are definitely some of the rules that I think are part of being in, living in uh, the public as far as that goes. Right. Yeah. right. Don Heimer, thanks, yeah. thanks for telling us about it. Thank you very much. And thanks for doing okay. what you do. Yeah, appreciate it. All appreciate right. the whole community. All right. All thanks right. for watching Kelowna Now.